Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We've got the long-awaited Darth Maul, brand new, brand spanking new, yes, finally an updated Darth Maul. Um, very similar to the one uh, we talked about about a week or two ago with the speeder. Um, but yeah, long, long, long awaited and I'm kind of glad we did because the technology of these action figures these days are just so good. Um, so yeah, first first released in 2013 at the inception of the Black Series line of six inch figures. Um, yeah, well, some 11 years later, we're getting a Darth Maul back on the Phantom Menace packaging. It looks really good, love the artwork. Little bio on the back. You can stop and have a little, a little read of that if you choose. But yeah, it looks, I don't know, the black, the black of his outfit on the yellow background looks really nice. Not really a lot else to talk about with the packaging. Yeah, the only real sort of difference with this figure is he's got the, uh, the plastic goods, whereas the one with the speed had the soft goods, obviously to accommodate the, uh, the sitting of, of the mall on the speeder. So, uh, yeah, stick around. We're going to do a little side by side, quick comparison at the end. With the, with the OG, well it's not the OG, it's the archive version, which was a re-release from a few years back, but um, let's crack open Maul and have a look. Alright folks, here he is, the one, the only Darth Maul. Um, yeah, we're going to go through, obviously we start, always start off with the packaging, we're going to go through the accessories, the paint applications, the articulation, and then we'll do a peg test on the uh, Kessel Run action figure stand. Rare, limited edition, blue version. No, um... Yeah, we're going to do that, and then we'll do a little bit of a comparison at the end. So, um, if you saw my review on the speeder bike, or if you've seen anyone's review on the uh, Darth Maul speeder bike set, you'll know that this figure is already kick-ass. It, it, it just is. It's just awesome. Um, Hasbro absolutely cooked with this one, and uh, yeah, he is just fantastic. So it's nice to have one, you know, I've got one on display on the speeder, and now this guy can sort of play with a little bit more. I'm going to have him... Because once you sort of get him on the speeder, I'm like, okay, he's good on the speeder. I want to leave him there. He's got the soft goods extra robe. Um, whereas this guy, it's like, I want to pose this one up and play around with him. Uh, Accessory-wise, he does come with his... His late saber. Now, this one does, again, sort of peg apart. Join together. The lightsaber blades are removable, so they just slide it in there nicely. A little bit nicer than the uh, than the speeder bike version, to be honest. I think they were sort of they had that little notch on there. It felt like you were going to break it, whereas these are just sort of sliding out really nicely. Nice snug fit. The hilt itself is nicely painted. Sort of nice sort of silver. And some of the buttons, the red on the buttons there, really really nice. In fact, it is that sort of almost metallic look. Really, really good. So I'm going to unblade that because we want to show the, uh, the feature of the peg. As you can see there, where that's going to fit onto his belt. Presumably. If it does... You know, it's a little bit, interestingly, what they've done is they've sort of sculpted a divot into the side of his torso there. So you've, once you peg that in, it doesn't uh, hinder it so much. So you can put his arm down. It doesn't want to hold in there right now, but that's okay. I know that it works because the, uh, the other Darth Maul worked fine, but that's okay too. So, um... Yeah, in terms of paint applications, this guy is black. Everything about him. <laughs> There's no extra details. Um, and he doesn't. It's fine. The, you know, the other the other Darth Maul came with the removable little wrist communicator thing that he uses to uh, send his probe droids out. So yeah, we'll get straight into the uh, straight into the face here. Get a nice close up. Look at his. His head tattoos painted on very nicely, I might add. 
and the horns are great. It's something that's been a little bit sloppy in the past, but not terrible. It's again because there is so much sort of darkness to his features, it's, it does catch a lot of light. <laughs> So you're getting a lot of reflection there, but the eyes look to me like they're they're applied nice and cleanly, which is what you want. And occasionally you do get a figure that's got a little, you know, it's slightly printed on an eyelid or something like that, and it's it doesn't break a figure, but sometimes if it's just that little bit too much, it can sort of put put the figure down a little bit. So around the back. Not too bad at all, but yeah, that's really a lot all I can sort of show with paint applications. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He is uh, very much just a Sith dude in black. So we will go through the articulation. Let me move the table back a little bit so I can hold him. He does have... A ball joint in the head, ball joint in the top of the neck, a ball joint in the bottom of the neck, all balls, all ball and sockets. With the ball hinge in the shoulders with the butterfly joint, so you can get nice movement and posability on this guy. You know, you're going to get him on all these action poses that he very much requires. There is a swivel in the elbows, there is also a hinge there in the elbows, the, the ball hinge. There is a swivel at the glove, which I don't know that the other one had. I don't see why it didn't. I just didn't pick it out. But yeah, swivel there in the glove. Swivel there at the hand. And he's got the ball and socket hands, so no hinge. But you do get enough movement in there to get all the dynamic poses you want from Darth Maul. There is the ball and socket at the top of the torso there. So again, lots of... Lots of range for those dynamic poses you're going to want to have Darth Maul with. And with the legs, you get the ball and socket in the hips. You get the swivels at the top of the thighs. You get a ball hinge in the knees. You get a ball hinge in the ankles. And you get the rocker in the foot. So he's going to do all sorts of awesome, awesome movements. And you pose him up. It's going to look really, really good. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging this mole. I think he looks good. I love the sort of the matte sort of colouring. And the sort of slight difference to the like the gloves and the boots. Even the sort of the sash around his waist there. Doesn't really show up under the uh, under the light of the camera. Yeah, whereas the soft goods came under the other one, this one's got a little bit of extra, you know, it's almost got an extra addition underneath, so you're getting these extra layers of the plastic, which is good. So that's not going to hinder any of the movement when you're posing Darth Maul up. I mean, I, I personally prefer the uh, prefer this look. I like, the, I like the outfit to sort of flow throughout the entire figure. Soft goods definitely works, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, when it all sort of flows through, it looks good. And the red of the blade. They're just so nice. It's a really nice, vibrant red. So I'm very excited about Darth Maul here. He looks freaking awesome. Let's do a peg test. So we've got the, uh, the bigger, the Black Series size peg on the left of the stand there. Look at that. Yeah, get this guy posed up and and balanced like so. Get some really cool poses with him. So that's nice. And now I'll bring in the uh, the archive version, which honestly has stood the test of time. It has been a very good Darth Maul. But yeah, it's, uh, it's had his time in the sun. 
all my work talking about the stands. <laughs> he just wants to fall over. It is a, it's not the most stable of tables. But yeah, I think the, uh, the old Darth Maul's definitely held up. Skin tones on the new ones are a lot better. This one's sort of, you know, the tattoos are very sort of red. The lightsaber hilt's a lot nicer this time around, much better. The quality of the articulation and the legs, you know, he's still got the big pins in the legs. Still not a bad bad mole by any by any stretch. But yeah, having them side by side like this, it's just like wow, they've come a long way. So kudos Hasbro, you've uh, you've done well to give this mole a much deserved upgrade. I think this is uh, this one will definitely stand the test of time, much like your first release. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a comment, tell me what you think, and. Uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you for some more reviews very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We would be honored if you would join us.